Hello everyone, this is your tutor AB. Today we're going to be solving a problem from the IB Physics HL May 2024 examinations. This is a paper 2 problem. A 50 ohm resistor is connected to a cell of EMF 3 volts. The voltmeter and the ammeter in the circuit are ideal. So here they've given us the circuit. Okay. The current in the circuit is 59 into 10, 59 into 10 to the power of negative 3 amperes. So that's like 59 milliamperes. This is milliamperes, milli. Okay, which is basically 10 to the power of negative 3. Okay. First, they're asking us to calculate the internal resistance of the cell. Now, we know that the EMF of a cell is equal to the current in the circuit the times the total resistance in the circuit plus the internal resistance of the cell. Okay, I think this is given in the data booklet. This is the formula for the EMF, the electromotive force. Now using this, I can solve for the internal resistance, which is just this small r. So we're given the EMF is three volts. Okay, and we know that the current in the circuit is 59 into 10 to the power of negative 3. Okay, because I need to convert milliamperes to just amperes. And this is equal to the resistance in the circuit, which is basically the resistance of the resistor plus the internal resistance. So the re resistance of the resistor is 59 ohms, or 50 ohms, sorry, plus the internal resistance, which I want to solve for. So let's put this in our calculator and solve for R. So you get 3 over 59 into 10 to the power of negative 3. 50 over 59. That comes out to be 0.85. R is equal to 0.85 ohms. And that's the internal resistance of the cell. Okay. Now the circuit is changed by connecting another resistor R in parallel to the 50 ohm resistor. Explain the effect of this change on, firstly, the reading of the ammeter. Okay, so what exactly happened? What's the difference? Well, you can see they're both the same circuit, but this just has an additional parallel combination. They're adding an extra circuit right there. You see? Okay, so what happens? When I add another resistor to a circuit in parallel, like in this particular combination, the effective, so this is important, the effective resistance of the circuit actually decreases. And can I tell you why? Because we know the, the total resistance is equal to one over the first resistance plus the one over the second resistance. And this number is always going to be, end up being smaller. Okay, this is going to be smaller. The total resistance is going to become smaller than if it were just a single resistor like this. So I can say that the effective resistance of the circuit decreases. Okay, now after this happens, we know that V is equal to I R. Okay, and now if we know that basically R is inversely proportional to the current, okay? And the ammeter measures current, ammeter measures current. So if the resistance goes down, the current must go up because they're inversely proportional. So we can say that the reading of the ammeter meter increases okay because current goes up because you can say current goes up next question the reading of the voltmeter now how do we do this well let's look at our diagram again <clears throat> now what do you see Okay, so let me explain it. The voltmeter basically measures the potential difference between two terminals of the cell. 
So it's measuring the potential difference between this point and this point. It's the measuring the potential difference. So the formula for potential difference is going to basically be potential difference is nothing but like the external voltage. So that's the voltage due to the resistors in the cell minus the voltage due to the internal resistance of the cell. So that's basically going to be the electromotive force minus the, the voltage due to the internal resistance of the cell. This is voltage due to internal uh, resistance, okay? This is what the voltmeter basically measures. It's measuring the potential difference. Now, okay, so when I add another resistor into this circuit, I knew from the previous question that the effective resistance decreases and the current increases. Now, what can we tell here? If the current increases, this overall term also increases. The overall term, the voltage, the voltage difference due to the internal resistance ends up increasing. And now what happens is that that leaves less room for the electromotive force. So this overall term decreases, so the potential difference also decreases because the electromotive force doesn't change. But this term, you see this term right there, becomes greater. And so 5 minus 4 and 5 minus 3, which is greater? which one will like end up becoming smaller 5 minus 4 so similarly because ir in this case has become greater the potential difference after the resistor has been added becomes smaller becomes smaller okay so just to summarize it the potential difference is given by this formula the electromotive force which is the maximum possible potential difference of this circuit minus the voltage I voltage due to the internal resistance of the cell I R okay and now we knew from the previous question that as the effective resistance decreases the total current in the circuit increases and when this happens this overall term becomes greater and when it becomes greater, E minus the second term is a smaller number. So potential difference becomes smaller. Okay, now part C. R is made of a resistive wire of uniform cross-sectional area of 3.1 into 10 to the power of negative 8 meters square. Resistivity is equal to 4.9 into 10 to the power of negative 7 ohm meter and length L. The resistance of R is given by the equation. Okay. Now what formula do you know from your data booklet that includes a term for resistivity? Well, it's right here. P is equal to R A over L. This is in your formula booklet. Okay. And basically, it's this R that I want to solve for. This R gives me resistance. This is resistance. And what is this R? This R is also resistance. So I think you I might know where, where I'm going to go from this. So if I solve for R, it's the resistivity times by the length over the area, and that's equal to R. But we also know that R is equal to KL. K is some constant, which I want to find out. Now, aren't these two R's equal? So can I not just say PL over A is equal to KL? Now, L and L will cancel out. So K is basically equal to the resistivity over the cross-sectional area. Okay, you see how it's simplified? Now we know the resistivity, that was 4.9 into 10 to the power of negative seven, and we know the cross-sectional area, that's 3.1 into 10 to the power of negative eight. Now, let's put this in our calculator and see what we get. 4.9 into 10 to the power of negative 7 over 3.1 into 10 to the power of negative 8. That gives me k is equal to 15.8. But what is the units? The units is going to be, let's see. Now, what is the unit for resistivity? The unit for resistivity was ohm meter. So, 
or meter by, and what was the unit for cross-section area? Meter square. Meter and meter were cancelled, so the unit will be ohm per meter. Okay? Or we can just write it like this, m negative 1. And that's also right. So that's your answer. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. If you have any questions, leave it down below, and I'll answer it as soon as possible. Thank you for watching.